<laughs> hey, what's going on guys? My name is Travos, and this is going to be an expert tutorial kind of thing on how to shortcut the map Blackout on free run. The free run mode as fast as possible. Hopefully you'll get a two minute time or under. Uh, the things I will tell you can get you to 150 easy. I'm going to be showing a few different ways just in case certain things are too hard uh, but yeah this is gonna be kind of like an in-depth tutorial kind of thing on anything you might need to know except falling off the edge because I'm not gonna teach that one okay so what I first do because your start is very important obviously that's the first thing you'll start actually doing I fell off again but uh, yeah, so slide jump. Fairly simple. Don't really need to explain. You slide and turn and jump. ADS, the least amount possible, by the way, on that. The least amount possible when you're here. You want to ADS shoot, ADS shoot. It's obviously best to just no scope, because if you didn't know, ADSing, even while wall running, slows you down. So you want to just uh, minimize that time. It will eventually get to just hip firing, but until that day comes, I'm gonna ADS. Uh, so then you want to double boost off of that and then slide. Okay, so on this part I get above the arrow, kind of on the arrow, above the arrow, on the arrow, and then double boost it. So, I'm going to go back and explain that again, because I kind of rushed that a bit. Okay. So, again, I want to get above the arrow, kind of on the arrow, above the arrow, on the arrow, and then boost out. So... like that. Uh, I am holding the right stick while I do that to kind of strafe jump. I'm holding it right as I'm like flying like that. Uh, that just helps me. I don't, I don't know. I, I found that I like that. Uh, it might be slightly faster to kind of aim with it. But anyways, while you're coming through here, you want to do a triple boost like that. And it is faster to do that extra boost there if you strafe jump it slightly, but uh, it really doesn't matter. If you're high enough on here, you can just jump and slide immediately. Uh, but when you take the shotgun, you want to slide off the edge if you have the boost available. Uh, if you don't have the boost available, it's probably best to just jump. Uh, but yeah, so slide or jump, whatever. And this is pretty standard. So when you're going on this part, and you can just immediately go and recharge the boost in air. Uh, you don't have to stop like I just did. Uh, so for this part, I normally... Well, I guess I will just demonstrate it. And that was a bit sloppy, but I think you get the gist of that. Yeah, it's really only a, a pattern. That's that's the pattern that I use. That's the path I use. Uh, it's pretty simple, I believe. I don't think I really need to explain that too much. So when you get over here, this part, I will have to explain. So uh, I'll demonstrate it first. Yeah, that was sloppy. I had to use an extra boost there. Uh, but anyways... So you want to... Oh, it launched me downward. That can happen. It's frustrating. Uh, but yeah, you want to make sure that you're kind of high on that, I guess. Um, it, I don't know. It really doesn't matter as long as you have enough boost. So right now I left a little bit of boost left so that I'd be ready to use it on the next. And then I would go on, but I, I don't want to take that checkpoint because I want to explain this still. Uh, so, I'll, I'll just demonstrate it one more time, I guess. 
So get kind of high, but don't use too much boost so that you have enough going into this. So again, one more analysis of this is you slide jump or slide thrust into this. You just kind of naturally go over. I think it's a double thrust or it's like however. I, I think it only requires one thrust actually, but leave a little bit of your thrust left when going on this. Okay? And then by the time you get to the very edge, you can jump, and the moment that your boost is ready again, basically, uh, depending on, you'll you'll have to play it by ear, uh, but you'll have recharged it all uh, by the time to be able to double thrust over and finish it out. So I didn't leave enough boost there, so it's a bit hard, but I did it anyway, and that's how I do it. Okay, so this part is very straightforward. I just go on the left one, and the left one again, and then slide. So, uh, here, I believe the shortcut is actually easier than the normal way. Uh, you just kind of get high on that one, jump to that one, and then double boost it here. I believe that has a much less chance to break the glass and... Just, it's faster and just better. Uh, so then here, ignore this part. This part's stupid. Like, this should be the real obstacle. Like, th that's a fun obstacle to get around. This is just weird. Uh, but what I do is I boost a lot and then mantle up. So, show you that again. I do a lot of boost while turning and mantle up. One more time. Because it's easy to redo this one. Lots of boosts and mantle up. If you don't happen to mantle up, you can just wall run along uh, until you get enough boost again to thrust up. But anyways, however you get up, you want to come through here. And Let's that was a fail. Time, but use many thrusts. Oh, I did. I did capture it. But anyways, you want to just do many, like a, like a turning kind of thing, if, if you get what I mean, like that, uh, so that you can get on there. Make sure, it doesn't matter how high you get, really, but it does matter that you get on it soon. You want to get it on it, get on it right at the edge there so that you have enough time to walk across and regain all of your boost again so that you can do a double thrust to get here. If you don't know how to strafe jump, you're going to be aiming more around here. Uh, if you can strafe jump, you can get around here and still have a little bit of boost left to slide. Uh, so that can be... well, depending on which strategy you use here, that could be good. If you slide, you want to do the easy way, and if you don't slide, You'll be you you'll be waiting for your charge to build up to do the hard way. So the hard way here is get right above the arrow here, get as high as you can, and mantle up. That is, I'm very surprised I got it on the first try. While I'm not warmed up, especially the way things have been going on this run, but yeah, uh, that's the hard way. So again, I'm not gonna... well, I'll, I'll demonstrate it one more time. You wanna go slightly above the arrow, as high as you can get, and almost did it. So the main thing is boost management here. You wanna leave a decent amount of boost when you get up at the arrow so that you can recharge it by the time that you boost again to get up high and hopefully leave like 10%, 20% still. Uh, depending on how high you are, it really doesn't matter. I, I guess it can be a few different ways. But you want to, just like over here, you want to get up here early. You want to get as, as far back as you can up here so that you have enough time during the wall run to jump over. So here is the easy way. 
you slide into that and boost over and jump in. You want to minimize how much time that you are actually wall running, uh, basically. That that goes to, that goes without saying for everything, but uh, here a lot of people forget about that, including me for a while. So when you're here, you want to kind of boost a little bit and turn around immediately. Although I haven't done this for a while, so a little bit rusty at it. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, 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 okay. So, yeah, I normally do the hard way now, uh, but for those of you, yeah, like, that's yeah, a really dirty, just filthy shortcut there. Uh, it saves like five seconds, but it's so hard to do, and at the end of your run, you do not need it to get under two minutes. You do not need to do it to get a 150. You could probably get a 149 without this short, without the hard shortcut. Uh, so yeah, anyways. Small thrust, and then turn around all the way, jump up. That's how you do that. Message from fate. Oh. Okay. Uh, so anyways. Once you're going down here, you'll have enough thrust to do whatever you need. But I will be showing the way from the the hard shortcut, just because like it's the same, it's just symmetrical. Uh, so you want the moment you get up here and climb up and climb up. <laughs> uh, but anyways, the moment that you climb up, you'll need to recharge your boost. So wait for that. Wait for your boost to be fully recharged. Just sit here, really, like, looking dumb, basically, just sitting here, and then do a whole bunch of thrusts, and then a whole bunch of thrusts, and then slide. Like, you'll be sprinting, not just walking, and then you want to slide the moment that you have a little bit of boost charged up. Uh, and then, for the other way, it's the same exact thing. It's, uh, except you don't have to wait, you'll just be running, and you'll be able to put a few boost in, and then sprint, wait for a little bit of charge up, and slide in. So, yeah. Hopefully, uh... Can you get up there? <laughs> yeah, uh, hopefully you got something out of this. Uh... If you did, good luck with your speed running. Good luck. Hopefully you get a sub two time. I'm rooting for you, because getting under two is about where uh, I would feel like like man you you really did a good job like yeah good good job getting that score uh, like you really worked at this and you learned a lot because of it and you got a lot of mechanics down and it'll help you in multiplayer as well uh, but yeah you can't get up there <laughs> uh, but anyways I'll see you guys later goodbye